You know, it's a good morning just to, what, stay in bed under the covers. Hang and out with us. Yeah. Why not, right? It's such a treat to get to start the weekend with you. Well, it's lovely having you. It's As you said, it's been a minute since it's, you've been. I put something on Twitter. I was like, it's been a hot minute since I've been here at 5 a.m. and not 5 p.m. Yeah. Right? My brain is a little twitchy with the clock, but we're getting there. Mm -hmm. uh, nice to start the day. The weather is unchanged, right? Yesterday was gray and dreary. Day before that was a little bit gray and dreary. So we've got drizzle. We've got rain, we've got a couple rumbles of thunder, no severe weather, and we have some river fog, some low lying fog, all that moisture on the ground helping to evaporate. Of course, our, our rivers, our waterways, our streams, our creeks, they tend to have a little bit more of that murky quality to them in the morning as well. I personally think it's really beautiful. Fog to me just kind of looks um, quiet and peaceful the same way a lot of people like fresh snowfall. And I think it looks really pretty here in Clarksville. So a little bit of a dreary, damp, kind of gray start to your day, but it is actually pretty mild for now. The high temperature has already happened in Clarksville. 62, we're sitting at 61. We'll hold in the 60s for most of the day today. And then once our cold front comes through, that's when things start to change. So here's a look at visibility right now. We do have some low spots, especially up into our Kentucky tier, northern portions of Todd and Logan County, Muhlenberg, pretty soupy outside, murky. And then just lighter fog. A lot of this is mist and drizzle too, helping to sort of reduce visibility at the surface. Two areas of rain. The heaviest concentration right now is east of Interstate 65, but there's another batch knocking on our door out to the west. No severe weather, no mischief expected today, but it is going to be another wet day for us. So we've got showers right now coming out of Williamson County, southern portions of Davidson, Smyrna. You've got the pitter patter of some raindrops out there. Western portions of Wilson County, Mount Juliet. Likely feeling a little or hear, uh, sounding a little noisy outside. Some heavier raindrops there. Sumner County, you've got light showers. Just about all of Trousdale County is getting rained on right now. Same thing up into parts of Macon County, western portions of Smith County. And then it's spotty as you head into our higher elevations. Again, a few rumbles, but they're just bowling balls. They're not doing anything bad. They're not going to cause any mischief for us. Our final push is this slow poke. It's like my toddler cold front that's barely getting ready to cross the Mississippi River. This thing has been on approach for three days and it finally comes through this afternoon. So the morning rain will wind down by mid morning to lunchtime. And then as that cold front comes in, it's our final push, our second wave. We'll see rain chances jump up in the afternoon hours, just rain again, a rumble or two possible. So that may impact outdoor planning, but not severe. Also for folks working hard on the cleanup from the storms last week and before. The other key thing to know is as that front comes through, the temperatures will tumble. So we'll hold in the 60s through lunchtime. Our front comes through in the afternoon. We're going to be in the 40s by dinner time. And then as we head into the evening hours, we're going to see those temperatures tumble even more. All the way into the 30s by Sunday morning. We'll be in the 40s Sunday afternoon. It's going to be crisp 40s. It's going to be a sunny 40s, and I think most of us are ready for some sunshine, even if it is cold sunshine. We'll be in the 50s as we round the corner into next week. Six well-needed dry days and a warming trend towards Christmas Eve. Stay with us. Lots more.